Good morning. <laughs> this has taken like about 10 minutes just to get this set up to do a video journal this morning. Oh my goodness. Okay. We are moving to another site. Okay, we're at, we're at Shampooey Heritage State Park. <laughs> We've been in one spot since Sunday. Yes. And in the, the special loop with sewer. The reservation <laughs> We could only get it for, you know, part of the time because this place is Five very minutes. popular. So we're having to move today, like in half an hour. Well, like as soon as we get off of this in an hour diary so, journal, whatever. And we're moving over to another location in a different spot. With no sewer. For the rest of the time we're here, we're here until Tuesday. And then we're going to go on to the next destination. So we've been here and we've, this part, where we're where we are in loop b is very private larger spots farther mm -hmm. apart quieter quiet and they have sewer so it's re been really really nice <laughs> when we get over to the other section it's got more of a family feel to it yeah the sites are closer together they're smaller it's more open so it's not the play as area. private and all that it doesn't have sewer so you either have to take your caddy to the dump or use the bathroom. Yes. So we'll be doing that, but it's it's Both. really a nice section. And we we've been there before in three different spots and we really like it. With our teardrop it. trailer. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So we're getting ready to move over there and we're going to have family come up Yay! and spend the day just a sort of a day thing with us. Not going to be camping with us, but they'll be up there and just they've got a great playground for the kids and just it's going to be really fun. So we're really excited and looking forward to that. They'll be coming up probably about the time we're moving in an hour yeah. or so and and spending the time with us. So, yeah. So yesterday we went on a bike ride. Mm -hmm. That was fun. And that bike ride has a nice paved path. It goes out in the countryside and it's so beautiful and so peaceful and it's got a lot of shade the first section is very nice and it was great and it goes over to this one the one side of it the name of that i can't remember the name was like the heritage pavilion or something where we and first went yeah there's a lot of history there where history took place <clears throat> in oregon when they before it was even a territory and a, an agreement was made on that spot, and they put up a little monument to it, and they had a photo. It was really, really cool. I mean, so we took a little trip up and just the history looked, buff here. Looked at that. It's just really interesting. And then we went the other way. Oh, let me mention this, and let me tell you. Okay, you tell the uh, hills. There was some really incline, wasn't there? Going up. Yeah. So like, I'm videoing it while we're riding the bike, but then we get to the part where it starts to go uphill, and I'm like. This is this is hard. I gotta stop videoing because it's too steep. I gotta like grab on with both hands and pump because I'm like <laughs> I'm like videoing with one hand and one hand on the handlebar, which is no problem. Except going up the hill, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I had to, like, but it was a it was a nice bike ride. I mean, the bike paths around here are just wonderful if you're looking for bike paths. But nice a lot more challenging, shady. longer. They had this really cool bridge that oh the bridge was, was by made. the water, yeah. and they had. Yeah, it was really, really pretty. Yeah. The campground is just it's So it's we're hoping clean. that the family brings their bike. With, I think they will. They have a little trailer for the kids that they can let them ride in, and the kids just love it. Being yeah. pulled behind them. And the play, the play area is, is a great is climbing really area great, for yeah. them. It's This is a great family camp ground if you want a place to come to here in Oregon. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's just about 30 minutes south of portland area or so now so we're a little close. bit too early for the berries they I have know. blackberries we usually pick that the come out berries. in end of july august august yeah but so you we know you can them. see them flowering we stopped and looked at them and they were flowering yeah. but the berries aren't ready yet so we're like oh we can't get the berries oh no, that was a fun part of, of the bike trail yeah. wasn't it yeah so yeah but really enjoying it so now we're gonna get ready to move we're gonna to connect another and get campsite. ready to move and that's over there. the joy of the people, we talked to the people camping. in our spot, and they said they're leaving before noon, probably around 11 o'clock or so, between yeah, 11. we'll see. So as soon as they move out, we can move into the spot and, you know, be, be going to their spot. So yeah. we're just kind of hanging out, waiting for that, and yep. and the family should be there right about the same time, so it's all going to get fun. Yay! Really. Yeah. So that's our, kind of our joint, joint. diary camper. 
today. For today. Yay! Shortly after we got to Shampooey State Park, we went to, well, actually it was on Monday, June 27th, my birthday. Hello, I turned 64. We got to go to our daughter's house. She made the best cake. Oh my goodness, it was so yummy. It was like a vanilla cake with strawberries all on top and a lot of candles. She asked me what I wanted for a meal, and I said, could you make me homemade pizza? So she made homemade pizza. Um, she put all these veggies on it that I wanted, and and uh, it was it was so delicious. And we just had a fun day at her house with the grandkids, and, and Ian got home that evening um, after work. It was just a wonderful time. We also had a wonderful time, Becca, our daughter, and, and family, and and uh, our son-in-law's father, Steve, they got to come out to the state park where we were camping. They came out on Friday, and then they came out on a Sunday. And uh, on Friday, we, we grilled up some Beyond Burgers in the evening and had a meal together. And on Sunday, when they came out, I made uh, yellow curries, curry over vegetables with tofu. And it was so delicious. Oh my gosh, I had garbanzo beans in it. And anyways, it was a great meal. But we had fun those two days. The kids, they like this water play area at the uh, play area where they they have they can pump the water into like three different level of logs and, and then it goes down into the sand and they make little channels and dams and everything. It was they had so much fun. In fact, the youngest grand grandson was just like Oh, this is a great spa and was submerged into the water. They had mud covered all over them, but they had so much fun all the way down to the littlest um, grandson, Ellis. They just had a wonderful time and they did bike riding around the campgrounds. We played games. We played uh, this game called uh, Garbage. We've played with the kids, it was Sydney and Darcy, the older boys. We've played um, uh, Uno with Becca and even even the even the guys played some chess and Buzz got to play some chess um, when we were over at their house. We also, they came to our campsite twice and then we went to their house like t twice uh, during the week. We would just go play with the kids because Ian was at work, our, our son-in-law. So we would just go and play with the grandsons and, and then we'd eat dinner together and then come home. Then on Saturday, in between our kids coming out, my cousin's Kevin and Cindy came out and uh, we had a wonderful time. They rode their motorcycles out. So that was cool to see. Um, but we just had a great time sharing and uh, talking about what's going on in our lives and how God is just really working and doing some wonderful things. And um, we just, it was a wonderful time of just pouring into each other. Then on 4th of July, Independence Day, we went to Becca's house in the afternoon and we went to a vegan donut shop. I think it's called Doe's. And a uh, little expensive, but oh my goodness, they were delicious. It was strawberry rhubarb donut and a lime coconut donut. Oh, they were delicious. We even have some cut up and in the freezer still for later uh, after we uh, leave Shampooey. Um, so, but we had, we had a great, great time just being with family and um, and enjoying each other and uh, it's just a wonderful time. So um, get ready for more adventures as we go to our next campgrounds, which is uh, going to be down in South Beach or Newport area, Oregon on the coast. So we're looking forward to that, but we did have a wonderful time at Shampooey State Heritage Park um, in Oregon, south of uh, Portland. Uh, but we really enjoyed it. Time for a mechanical update. After going into our daughter's house for Carol's birthday, on our way back, we needed to stop for gas. But it was kind of late, so we decided to just wait until the next morning because we were going to go back again. So the next morning, we stopped at the gas station. Now, in Oregon, you don't pump your own gas. They pump it for you. So I'm kind of spoiled when I pull in and they pump my gas for me. After pumping the gas, I went to start up my truck and it wouldn't start. 
The battery wouldn't turn over. It was dead. And I was shocked. How could the battery be dead? I just got a new battery a year ago. It was about 4th of July last summer. It shouldn't be dead now. But one fortunate thing about being there when they pump your gas is the guy was right there. He saw that I was having trouble. He offered to jump my car. He pulled his car in. I pulled out my jumper cables. We tried to jump it, but it wouldn't go. Nothing. I was just shocked. It's like the battery was totally dead. And another guy came over to help. He says, well, make sure that the connection is good. Still nothing. I was about ready to give up. Call my auto service to have them come out. Of course, that could take a couple of hours to wait. Then another guy that worked there came over. He checked it and he says, oh, here's the problem. I think this is it. The negative side on the battery, the connection, was like loose. And I remembered, well, okay, a year ago when I changed my battery, I didn't tighten it down with a wrench because I didn't want to over tighten it. So he tightened it by hand and vroom, started right up. Oh, I was so relieved. Got to our daughter's house. I was telling my son-in-law, Ian, about it. He goes, hey, the same, kind of the same thing happened to me. Our battery died. I called our auto service. Had to wait, you know, until they got there. The guy shows up with this portable jump start battery. It was like, kind of like about the size of your phone, except thicker. And the jumper cable's right on there. He plugged it into the battery, started right his battery. He says, I got to get one of those. So he drove straight to the store and bought one <laughs> while his car was running. So I went to the store to buy one too. And there were so many different ones. I picked the wrong one. Turns out I had to take it back, refund it. I went to get another one. The one I wanted was out. They were out of stock. So I ordered one from Amazon and had it shipped to our daughter's house, put their address, and got it. So now I've got my own jump start battery. So if that happens again, I'm ready. Ha <laughs> ha! So, dodged another bullet, another mechanical issue that we dodged a bullet, so I'm prepared for the next time.